In this video, let's explore the theory behind a voxel world. So what are voxels? Voxels are like in the 2D graphics pixels, so a single smallest part of the image. In our case, voxels will be single smallest piece of our world that we are going to generate. Now, cube is not exactly the correct word to describe a voxel because cube is made out of eight vertices so each one in each corner of a cube and it contains six quads as the size of our cube each quad is made out of two triangles if we go to our wireframe we can see that each quad is actually two triangles so the cube of ours is made out of 12 triangles and we can go to our shaded wireframe and we can see that we need to create a lot of data to generate our simple single cube. Now this means that if we were going to create a world out of cubes, we could for example be here and see only those faces, but our GPU would render the faces that are behind as well as you go to our wireframe mode, those two cubes are touching each other but this cube and this cube has this uh, face rendered in both cases so if we slide them apart you can see that this face and this face is duplicated and those will never be visible to the player because if we destroy this face then only we will be able to see one of those but right now we are rendering both of those even if they are not visible to the player that is why we need to have a better way to generate our terrain. Instead of rendering each side of our cube, we will split our world into chunks, which are simple single meshes that simulates that our world is made out of cubes, while in fact it will be made out of a simple meshes that will simulate this effect. Again, we are using those triangles to generate each voxel, but instead of generating all the faces of each voxel, we are going to render only the faces that are visible to the player. If we generate more chunks, we will end up with a terrain that is fully made out of separate meshes, but we are going to only render as much as we need to see. This will prevent any FPS drops and freezes. Now, of course, we will need to implement some kind of multi-threading if we want to generate an infinite world and we want to generate those chunks those uh, pieces of the world at runtime but we are going to talk more about it in the third section of this video series and we are going to generate a bit more uh, distinct looking and a bit more interesting worlds in the section 2 when we talk more about uh, generating different noise values and modifying the way we generate our uh, world so at the end of section 1 we are going to achieve this minecraft like voxel world that is generated out of small chunks okay in the next video we are going to prepare our starter project i just want to point out that this tutorial is mostly about writing code we are going to implement a lot of scripts to generate this kind of terrain because this is at the end the voxel engine that will allow us to easily create what you want using voxels so feel free to download the end project for this series, the links will be in the description and I will explain how to download the resources as well as view the scripts in the next video. Or you can simply go to the GitHub repository linked in the description of this video and when we reach specific topic you can copy the scripts or enter even the comments and select the specific video that we are in and copy the code while listening to the explanation of what each line does which I will provide in each video of this series. Great! See you in the next video!